I'm here at the University of Washington Health Science Center where an animal research lab that's right up there is empty. And it's going to be empty for a while. Across the country, headlines everywhere read, UW in trouble for lab animals' conditions. The health of the animals actually isn't in jeopardy. We had some deaths from, from rats uh, two years ago. And that actually came from a, a new system breaking. There was a pneumatic tube that broke in a heating system and it overheated a room. And we, we killed some rats. Uh, 500. 500 of them. Yeah. Most media stories neglected to report the fact that the deaths of the 500 rats were from a new system. It's never happened in my time here. So 28 years I've never had anything like that happen. Putting the media hype behind. So what does John Coulter, the executive director of the UW Health and Sciences Building, say is the reason why the animal lab is on probation? The basic issue was on the facility. Cleanliness because of the, the structure of the facility and uh, temperature control and they need to be top, top right. Everywhere else they looked uh, across the university, we have several animal facilities. We did just fine because we can keep those rooms clean. The walls are new, relatively new. The ceilings are sealed. The floors are sealed. And so we have no problem at all, no, no trouble keeping them clean. It's when you have an open facility with, that's aged that is the problem. The lab housed tens of thousands of animals and is about as long as a quarter of a mile. The probation is going to put a damper on our number one ranked medical school, which dominates its field in research. We're a very big player in health research. And so, uh, I don't know, 40% of, 50% of those grants from NIH involve animal research. And it can come be from the very most basic research where you're just trying to find out how something might work. You don't, you're not even sure what you're looking for to the point where you do something with, for example, um, bone marrow transplant where you find out by bone marrow transplants in beagles that you can ultimately do that in humans and when you do it in humans you, you cure leukemia. Many students are confused by why the largest animal lab on campus has not been renovated. Ten years ago we would be absolutely fine with a whole lot of things that just aren't fine right now so we constantly have to increase and improve what we're doing. With the growing regulations, I assumed money for the facility would be increasing. But that obviously is not the case. Well, that's always, that's always the problem. Money is decreased because the federal money isn't available anymore. So we have increasing expectations and decreasing sources of money to make that happen. But we need to either make it happen or we need to stop doing research on whatever specific animal we're working on. If with campaign UW and alumni foundations, it seems that finding a donor should be easy. It's very difficult to get people to want to donate to uh, the basic um, animal care facility. Folks like to see a specific program usually that they're interested in. Let's go back to leukemia research. You can find people that are very interested in devoting their dollars to funding research that they believe will lead to cures for cancer or heart disease. But when you ask somebody to donate to a building that will house animal cages, it's not, very, it's not the kind of thing most donors are interested in. So who's to blame for the lack of funding? Our job, my job, is to get this facility up to the level where we can reintroduce uh, animals. If we can't, we're not going to reintroduce animals. Blaming someone for the lab's condition is not the issue anymore. So when we hit the wall, when we finally run out of space, we will going to have to to think differently how we approve grant applications if they involve animals. I never want to get to that point. So we want to ultimately build a new facility. That's what we really need to do. And now it's time for students, faculty, and alumni to come together in raising the $20 million the medical school needs to build a new facility and continue finding cures that save lives. For the Daily Videocast, I'm Chanel Smith.